guys, today we're going to learn about phrases. This is quite a long presentation, so get ready to pay attention. A phrase is a group of words that functions in a sentence as a single part of speech. Phrases do not contain a subject and verb. There are five types of phrases, prepositional, appositive, participle, gerund, and infinitive. We'll start out with prepositional phrases. A prepositional phrase begins with a preposition and ends with a noun or pronoun called the object of the preposition. The preposition shows the relationship between its object and another word in a sentence. This relationship can be of space, time, direction, similarity, exclusion, and many others. An example is near the slide and the swings. Near is the preposition and slide and swings are the nouns. A prepositional phrase can act as an adjective and modify a noun or pronoun. It can also act as an adjective, excuse me, an adverb and modify a verb, an adjective or an adverb. Using prepositional phrases that act as adjectives. A prepositional phrase that acts as an adjective is called an adjective phrase. An adjective phrase is a prepositional phrase that modifies a noun or pronoun by telling what kind or which one. An example, adjectives versus adjective phrases serve the same purpose as one another. So the first one, the curly haired dancer spun five times. And the second one is the dancer with the curly hair spun five times. Notice that both sentences answer the same questions, but in most cases, the adjective phrases will follow its noun or pronoun, pronoun as shown in number two. Curly hair modifies dancer. Prepositional phrases can also be used as adverbs. An adverb is a prepositional phrase that modifies a verb, an adjective, or an adverb. Adverb phrases point out where, when, in what way, or to what extent. Adverb versus adverb phrases serve the same purpose as one another. So the first example is the plane left late, and the second example is the plane left after a three hour delay. Appositives, like adjective phrases, give information about nouns or pronouns. An appositive is a noun or pronoun placed after another noun or pronoun to identify, rename, or explain the preceding word. Appositives are very useful because they add detail to sentences. Here are some examples. The author, Emma Jensen, has written many books. In number one, Emma Jensen renames the author. In number two, the students, Mike and Cody, never finish their homework. Mike and Cody rename students. Using verbals and verbal phrases. Verbals are verb forms that are used as another part of speech. There are three kinds of verbals, participles, gerunds, and infinitives. Participles are used as adjectives, gerunds are used as nouns, infinitives are used as nouns, adjectives, or adverbs. Many of the adjectives you use are actually participles. A participle is a form of a verb that acts as an adjective. There are two kinds of participles, present participles and past participles. Present participles end in ing, and past participles usually end in ed, with the exception of some irregular verbs that end in t or en. Present participle examples are giving, singing, reading, and writing. Some examples of past participles are educated, loved, missed, hugged, chosen. Some irregular endings are brought, built, bought, caught, fought, found, got, gotten, held, laid, led, lost, paid, said, spun, stuck, swung, taught. A participle phrase is a past participle that is modified by an adverb or an adverb phrase or that has a complement. The entire phrase acts as an adjective in a sentence. An example is, take the first sentence and change it into a participle phrase. So the waiter did not respond. Then when we change it, we write, the waiter eating his lunch did not respond. A gerund is a form of a verb that acts as a noun and ends in ing. Gerunds can be used as subjects, direct objects, predicate nouns, and objects of prepositions. 
An example of subject is exiting the building was a good idea. An example of a direct object is Susie loves skiing. An example of a predicate noun is her favorite sport is fishing. And an example of object of a preposition is Eric always loves reading. A gerund phrase is a gerund with a modifier or complement, all acting together as a noun. Here are some examples. Gerunds with adjectives. The loud, obnoxious chirping continued all night. Gerunds with direct objects. Using trees as lumber is an important part of New Mexican economy. Gerund with prepositional phrases. He helps my mother by sharing his knowledge about birds. Gerund with adverb and prepositional phrases. My friend shocked the audience by dancing gracefully at the theater. An infinitive phrase, and it is an infinitive, with modifiers or a complement, all acting together as a single part of speech. Here are some examples. An infinitive with an adverb is, it will be important to listen carefully. An infinitive with prepositional phrases is, to ride an airplane, you must have some form of a state identification. An example of an infinitive with a direct object is, in 1967, the United States decided to allow my mother into the country. An example of an infinitive with an indirect and direct object is, I want to give you a small present. An infinitive is the form of a verb that comes after the word to act to and acts as a noun, an adjective, or an adverb. An infinitive can be used as a subject, direct object, predicate noun, object of a preposition, or a positive. Here are some examples. To whistle, to sing, to dance, and to jump. And that's all I have on phrase.